MegganGallup.com and I am so excited about this video because I know that you're going to be excited about it too. Because if you haven't noticed from the title, it is all about healthy weight loss. I know, the moment you've all been waiting for. I've been promising this for a long time. To those of you who are brand new to my YouTube channel, welcome and I'm excited uh, to be able to start with this video. So. Number one question is always about weight loss. But if you're a vegan, or um, if you've thought about transitioning to a vegan diet, it might seem kind of weird. Why are you struggling with a weight problem if uh, you're eating only plant-based foods? Well, unfortunately, most vegans and just people in general tend to eat pretty unhealthy. We eat a lot of junk food. That's a huge part of American culture or any sort of uh, Western culture at all is just junk, junk, junk. We're eating tons of oil, salt, sugar. We're eating things that are fried, things that are overly sweet, and all these things that taste really good but don't do much for our bodies. And then we wonder why we have extra pounds on. And the answer always seems clear. We should just eat more fresh fruits and vegetables and exercise. But that advice alone isn't really that easy for most people, myself included. In fact, if you check out this video right here, you'll see that I've actually struggled with my weight a lot and uh, it's an ongoing process. It's a mental process and it's a physical process. There's just so much information out there t trying to give us different ideas about losing weight. And it's just very frustrating and confusing. And I don't know about you, but I used to try all sorts of things. I would try pills and drinks and books and magazines, especially when I was a teenager, way before I was vegan. And it was just like nothing seemed to work. And nowadays, you look at bookshelves, you go to Amazon.com or whatever seller online, you go to any website, it's all about weight loss. Everybody has a weight loss secret, a weight loss product, a weight loss book. It's just a lot. Earlier at the beginning of this year, I featured Crazy Sexy Diet, and I did a month-long cleanse, or actually it was a three-week cleanse, and it was incredible. For me, that was a really great way to start off the year because uh, you could kind of cleanse your body, get rid of uh, all the junky foods that you're eating, get a better mindset, and learn why you're doing it. Huge, huge fan of that. But now, in addition to me loving this book, I really, really want to recommend to you Kathy Freston's The Lean. This is so fantastic, and I think it really pairs up well with the Crazy Sexy Diet books. This book, I can tell, is something I'm going to be picking up all the time, recommending all the time, loaning to people all the time. It's really that great. If you're not familiar with Kathy Freston, she does a lot of amazing work in mainstream media. She's one of those vegans who's getting out there and explaining to the world why the vegan diet is a healthy choice. You may have seen her on Oprah, she's been on Ellen, I think she's been on Dr. Oz. Yep, Good Morning America, The View, Charlie Rose, Extra, and she's written several books. She's been really well known for these books called Quantum Wellness and Veganist. And I've known about her, I've seen her speak before, but um, I never had the opportunity to read her books before. And uh, they offered to send me a copy of this book to check out. And like many other books, I agreed to take it and take a look at it. And within a few pages, it is just unlike most things that I've read out there. It reminds me a lot of Crazy Sexy Diet because it's fun and it's easy. It makes you want to continue reading and inspires you to do it. Also, you instantly feel like Kathy is a friend of yours, much like uh, Chris Carr, or if you've ever read the Skinny Bitch series, it has that same sort of feeling to it, where you just feel like, oh, this information makes sense because it's fun, because she's relating to me. So that to me was the thing that really stuck out. Plus, Kathy, you know, I don't know much about her background besides being an author and, and how she got into all of this. I don't know if it was just someone like me who became interested and learned as she went along, but she certainly comes across as a major expert. Um, she's got so much information in here, and that's what I love. Every piece of advice that she gives is backed up with scientific studies, tons of research, all sorts of anecdote, anecdotes. She's not just telling you what you should be doing, she's telling you why you should do it. So, what are some of the pieces of advice in here? I have this little list, list right here. I want to read these all off. Well, first of all, um, the book is called The Lean because she gives 30 pieces of advice that can be taken over 30 days, 30 weeks, 30 months, or maybe 30 seconds, however uh, pace you want to go with it. It's completely up to you. 
Um, the lean stands for not getting your just not just getting your body lean, but leaning into it, which I think is a really interesting concept uh, and, and very fascinating approach approach to weight loss, which makes a lot more sense. Uh, some people are able to change overnight. I happen to be one of those people, I can make a decision and I go with it almost immediately. But a lot of people, uh, it takes some time. They need to rev up to it, they need to go slowly step by step, and they need to feel like it's not overwhelming to them. And this, if you're that type of person, this book's for you. If you're the type of person like me too, you could read this over a week or two as I did, or maybe even like in a few days, and get all the information really fast as well. So it really caters to a lot of different people, but I love that her main aim was for people that need just time. They need comforting, they need patience, they need someone that um, is laying it out step by step and they can take it at their own pace. So let me read you off the things that she recommends. So number one, Drink lots of water. This is huge for me. I read that and I was like, oh, I guess. You know, I, I feel like I drink a lot of water, but once she laid it out, I realized I probably don't drink enough. And so she even gave you like an example schedule for how often you should be drinking water, which I've now started to implement, and that's helped out a lot. I feel a lot better. Have a hearty breakfast. That was another big thing for me. I never eat breakfast. I have always made excuses. Oh, I'm just not a breakfast person and my schedule's all over the place. But she really lays out the reasons why you should. So because of her, ever since I picked, started reading this book, I've been having breakfast every single morning. And it's been really fun for me. I've been able to try out healthy breakfast ideas, which she has in the recipe section of the back of this book. I'm obsessed with this quinoa breakfast, which I will gladly make a video on soon. Um, eat an apple. And it got me really excited after reading about the health benefits of eating fruit, especially apples. So now I have an apple every single day, a green apple to be specific. It tastes delicious. I look forward to it. Typical things that you would get with uh, the vegan diet are things like cleaning out your cupboards, trading your milk and butter for plant-based versions. Um, what else? Make your lunch without animal products. She has a lot of points here that are very based and just people that are transitioning to the vegan diet. So this book is also great if you're brand new or haven't even started to become a vegetarian, let alone a vegan. She'll really give you some great transitional steps for becoming that. She talks about nuts, which is great, busting a lot of myths about nuts and the health benefits and weight loss, things like flax. Um, do a deep dive for five. I love that one. She has a bunch of tips in here about the emotional side of ourselves and how that's really crucial to weight loss. And uh, those some excellent points in there and ec excellent tips on how you can connect with yourself more and how your emotional, mental, and emotional habits might be the trigger for poor eating habits. Um, taking vitamins, she talks about exercising, superfoods, eating more salads, which is something I should do more. Uh, a whole chapter on cashew cream, which I thought was really cool. Um, having fun, strength training, uh, learning about where your food comes from, making smoothies, getting rid of sugar, juicing, eating low on the glycemic index, cutting out oil, doing something purposeful, scheduling your day, and making progress instead of perfection. How great is this? This is so not typical of your average weight loss plan that wants to just give you a product and make it seem like it's super easy or, you know, even Crazy Sexy Diet incorporates a lot of this stuff, but it's, di it's laid out differently. So I think those books really complement each other. They have very similar information, but they also have a whole different approach. So if you love Crazy Sexy Diet, Sexy Diet, you're gonna love this. If you didn't really like Crazy Sexy Diet, maybe you should try this. So, again, I can't say enough about this. I know all of you are really interested in just getting healthier, doing things better for the planet, and losing weight, and this is just the perfect resource for that. You can pick it up, I'll have links on my website, or you can just go look it up online on Kathy's website. I would love to hear your feedback and how it goes for you. What did you think? What did you think of the information? Does this work for you? If you're wondering if it's worked for me, well, it's only been like 
a week or so since I started reading it, but I actually feel more excited about the day and more energized, and I feel a little bit more in control, and all of this just seems to make so much sense to me. Well, that's it for now, but thanks so much for watching. You can find more information at ecovegangallet.com. You can also subscribe. I talk lots about health, sustainability, environment, uh, veganism, all of that in my videos, so you can check out past videos, but if you subscribe, you'll be the first to know when I have a new one. And you can also follow me on social media. All those links are down below, Facebook, Twitter, etc, etc. I would love to hear from you there. If you have any other questions, there's also a link down below, which will lead you to a form you can fill out to ask me anything, and I will definitely try to get you the answers as soon as possible. See you next time!